All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Today, we brought in, I got a new uh, product to show you here. This is by NuQ, and it is ultimately a uh, finger per reader SSD for the iPhone 15 series. So if you have an iPhone 15 series, you probably can use this on Android products too, but it specifically says for iPhone uh, 15 series. So, you know, take note of that. You can use it basically with iOS. You should be able to use it with your iPad Pro, your MacBooks, and things like that. And it is a fingerprint SSD. Meaning it's set up with your fingerprint. You unlock it with the fingerprint to gain access to. Uh, it's 100% encrypted, uh, on-the-go uh, encryption for all your data is safe. It's plug and play. Uh, you can use it with your phone app or uh, no PC app required or anything. You don't have to do anything special about it. You just plug it up. When you program your fingerprint reader, you're good to go. Uh, so easy way to back up. It's, it's small and compact, uh, very pocketable, as you can see here. Uh, here's the instructions here. And yeah, you can use it with Android 7 and above, iOS 9 and above, yeah. So you got to use the app installation. So we're going to go ahead and do this real briefly here. I'm going to scan the app. Okay. And it took me into this NQ storage. And it'll probably take me through some kind of setup. Here's the instructions right here. As you can see here, it's telling you what to do. You need to give it permissions. And we'll give, we'll just do full access. Uh, and looks like that's it. Uh, uh, it gotta be, it's gotta be a way to set up the fingerprint reader. Uh, so let's go into here. This is just, uh, yeah. Okay, so the hard drive will be plugged in right there. Now let's see here if I can figure out where to go for the fingerprint. Oh, here we go. It says, um, app guidelines. Lift and press your finger. Read anything, okay. So once you plug it in, more than likely it's going to do it. So let's go ahead and get it out here. Oh, this is very thin. Please read the instruction manual, install software. Okay. Do not poke or sharp. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. And so the fingerprint reader is now exposed. And so when I plug this into the iPhone, this is a very beautiful material back here. Let's get in to see. You'll need some accessories here. Got to be able to plug it up. Let's see what they give you. They probably give you a little, oh, yeah, a little pouch. Okay, nice little pouch. And then you got two cables in here, and that is that is all. We'll throw this aside. Here is a Type C cable, and then a Type C to Type A cable. So let's go ahead and go Type C. Get this pouch out of here. Plug it in here, and then we'll go ahead and plug it in here. As you can see, it turned blue. It's reading, pretty nice. Okay, now it says you need to set a password uh, and enter a fingerprint before you can use encryption. Okay, nice. Let me set that up real quick. Let's enter a password. Let's just do J. Uh, I do J Will. Okay. Enter administrator fingerprints name. J Williams. Oh, it's, you uh, you run out of room there, huh? Okay. Let's take away this then and just go like this. And then next step, okay, it says press your finger. Put your finger on there, so we'll go ahead and... It's reading, it's setting up the fingerprint reader. Pretty cool. And just like that, 
just like that. I, I didn't press pause or anything. There's nothing in here. So we're going to add something. Uh, let's create a folder and call it E-Ray. I just picked up the 24 E-Ray. And now we're going to go in here. We're going to add, all right, recent. Let's go here. Nope, that's not, I want to do that. Let's do, let me see. I don't want to do an album backup. I want to grab an image. As you can see here, it is basically 500 gigs or almost 500 gigs available here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to image. Oh, I need to go back to the to the phone is what I need to do. Go to image and let's grab a, grab a file here. Let me see if I can transfer this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it to E-Ray. I'm going to paste. And it up, oh, that was quick. Wow, and now it's inside of there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a multiple this time and see exactly how well it does. I'm also going to do a, a video as well. So we're going to hit copy, go here, I'm going to paste it, and you can see it's blinking there, uploading everything. There it is, 100%. And now those are all on there. So now we're going to go back to video, and I'm going to go to this video right here. Uh, and these are high quality videos, so I really don't want to, I don't know how long it's going to take to do a high quality video, but we're about to see. This is a 30 second video, it's 4K60 and HDR. And look at how fast it's moving along. That is impressive. Wow. That's pretty good. Not the fastest, but definitely impressive. Definitely impressive. So now that I've put on, let me put a, let's see how well a very large video does. Uh, so I think this might be one. All right, guys, here it is. Yeah. This is a seven and a half, almost an eight minute video. And we're going to copy it to E-Ray. And let's see how long it takes. Obviously, it won't take seven and a half minutes. But if it starts to get too long, I'll go ahead and, and pause and let you know just about how long it took. This has got to be one of the easiest setups for something uh, that's encrypted like this that I've ever done before. This is really impressive. Just kind of cleaning up the area here while this is transferring real time for you. This gives you some sense. That is a 4K uh, 60 frames per second video. Uh, it's a big file, so it's transferring over real time for you right now so you can see exactly what you have to deal with if you decide to do something like this. And I don't think this is very long at all. I mean, I, I think that's a pretty good time considering um, how big the file is. You know how big 4K 60 HDR can be. It's a re really big file. Really big file. I'm just going to put this all in the box. This is transferring. This isn't bad. So uh, about an eight-minute video, this 4K60 um, HDR, it's not It's not doing too bad. What are we at? Maybe a minute right now? Maybe a minute? That's pretty doggone good. Pretty doggone good. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in to an Android phone. I'm going to plug into an Android phone next. Just to see if I can get access to it. And transfer some stuff. So. Let's see how it does with Android. Um, some people... Um, I think I read somewhere that some people were having problems with Android, but we're gonna. I got my Pixel here, so we're gonna plug it up. This was maybe a couple of minutes, maybe that's not too bad. Start a timer, you know, rewind the video video back and start your timer, and you can see how long it took. This is a very large file, and it's pretty nice. And what I'll do is I'll actually transfer the footage off of here to the Pixel as well, and I'll drop some things on there. So that's not bad at all, folks. And then boom, the full video is there. There's the movie down there. Wow. That is impressive. All right, man. So now the hard drive is over here. I'm on the hard drive area right here. And you can see that it's actually on the hard drive. Now, how does it play things from the hard drive? Let's see. 
Wow. It's playing smooth. It's playing smooth. No complaints. And it's flashing right there. Let's you know I'm playing it right from the hard drive. Check out the 2024 E-Ray I just picked up. If you haven't seen that video, I posted it here and I posted it on my car channel. This car is a beast. So far, I've just got the window smoked out. It's pretty much all I need to do for now. I did order a few things for it, but nonetheless, coming later. This is an HDR, uh, HDR video at 4K60. It is absolutely stunning, too. E-Ray. Yeah, so it looks like it, it plays perfectly fine. This is the other video. Wow. Um, so, yeah, man, this thing is legit. It is legit. You can see there's 3.4 gigs available or that have been used. And I got 460, uh, seven, 400, uh, 400, 476, basically 477 gigs available or just under. So let's go ahead and hit eject. All right, it's removed. Now you can remove it. And we'll take the iPhone and put it aside. And now we'll plug up Android and see what happens. I probably have to get the app too. I forgot what that app is. What's that app I just did? Uh, NQ Storage. So let's go. Let's go download NQ Storage. Where is it at? Maybe it's not a maybe you don't need it for Android. I can see what the icon looks like and I don't see it. Okay. So let's just go into here. No, let's go to files. Oh wait, here we go. Let's go to let's see here. Library, see if there's okay, let's go down to files then. Let's see if Android's letting me just go straight to it with files. Files. Uh, okay, okay, uh, all right, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to is it picking it up. Let's see here. Let's see if it, it's unlocked and, and opens up. Mm -mm -mm. Is it appearing? Okay, so maybe this is uh, what some people I think I, I think I, the company said something about some. Some uh, people were having issues with Android or whatever, but um, I don't even see that it's plugged in, actually. Let's so try it again. Oh, let me see here. No, that's not it. Oh, it was right there. Nope, that's my storage cloud. Okay, I don't see that it's actually reading over here, so I don't know if I need to scan that app again. But nonetheless, I'm gonna plug it up over here again. Go ahead and scan my finger. And let's open it up here. Yeah, you have to you have to scan your finger to get in. So I'm gonna scan this app real quick. I'm gonna eject it. And I'm gonna go into the manual real quick and scan the app and see if I can get it to pull up for me through the app. I'm just doing this real time for you here just in case some of you guys get this. There we go. Okay, so APK for Android, same thing. There it is, it's called NQ Drive on Android. So there you have it. That is what you'll get if you buy this for Android. This is why you do things sometimes real time just to kind of see what it's gonna do for you. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, I agree, and now I'm gonna allow access, and now I'm going to plug it up, and it should ask for my fingerprint. Or it'll just read it. There we go. Boom, and now we're in, and then the same files, are right, there we go. And let you know that these are new things that were not on here. And it's playing. Everything is working good. Very nice. So I know that I will be able to transfer this off. So let's tr let's try to transfer this off of the um let's transfer it off. Let's see if we can let's see if we can uh 
select this one and then select this one and just these ones are available and we're gonna copy to device confirm and we're gonna go to uh, no we don't want to copy it to the device we're gonna, we're gonna copy it Oh, copy the phone. I hit device. My bad. Oh, it was already okay. I got my bifocals adjusted. Don't worry. All right. So now it's just copying to the phone. The movie's copying, and then I'll eject uh, this afterwards. It's copying the photos and everything. So now it's on uh, the folder. It's called NQ Drive. So I'm gonna go back. The hard drive. Home, and I'll e eject. So it is working with Android. SD card removed. Now we're going to go to here and see if we can find that in the, the library here. And Q Drive, there it is. And then boom, there it is. Look at that. Real time, no breaks, no edits. So I hope you hung in there. I mean, this is legit. This is legit. This is seriously legit. It works with Android and it works with iPhones. This is a must have, it's not, it's not hot to the touch or anything, it's legit. I like this right here. You can see some branding right there with the serial number and your type C over here. And then this is just it. I'm actually gonna try this on different products like my MacBook. And this is just gonna be just legit, man. I really like this. Now, shout out to them for uh, taking care of me on this video. I appreciate it. Uh, this is pretty, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Anyway, it's your man Jay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's clean it up for you. Thumbnail right there. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.